For long-time followers of the Bundesliga, it takes a bit of getting used to. Thomas Schaaf kitted out with Eintracht Frankfurt's eagle emblem and not the Werder Bremen diamond. So I keep hearing, but things change, and that's how it was with me after having been so long at another club. That chapter's closed, and now I'm wearing the eagle instead, and I think it looks pretty good. Schaaf spent 42 uninterrupted years at Bremen as a player and coach and was certainly no stranger to success. After taking his leave in May 2013, he enjoyed a well-earned sabbatical. I just took a bit of time for myself. For that to work, you need to adopt a consistent approach, and I did. It also means not being tempted to weigh up whether this or that offer might be an interesting opportunity. Instead, I said I'm not available, and when the time's right again, you'll know about it. When the time was right, Eintracht Frankfurt came calling, and Thomas Schaaf was duly impressed with the offer. For me, it doesn't all come down to any one particular factor, whether a club's qualified for Europe, for example. What matters most is the overall package, the people involved, the city, and so on and so forth. And the overall Frankfurt package appealed to me. We had talks, we saw we were on the same wavelength, and this is the end result. Eintracht's Europa League campaign last season left them stretched on the home front and they struggled in the Bundesliga. Top scorer Joselo is just one of the key players to have departed. What's the target this time? First of all, we want to avoid relegation. That's the primary objective. Back once again to the subject of Werder Bremen. Surely Thomas Schaaf knows when he's due to go up against the club that's been such a large part of his life. It's, uh, Not right at the start anyway. I think it's around October or November. It's on December the 6th to be precise. And this time, Thomas Schaaf's club crest will match his famously eagle eye.